Anglia News at 6 with Tim Curtis and Caroline Aldry. The face of a serial rapist. The victim's description gives police a new lead. The battle to stay. Travellers facing eviction take their case to the High Court. And why they're Daniels and their diamonds. How our football clubs got their nicknames. Hello, welcome to Wednesday's Anglia News. First tonight, the search for the serial rapist who struck ten times in the last year. Police have released the first clear image of their suspect. It was produced with details provided by his latest victim, a 14-year-old girl from Stevenage. Detectives leading the manhunt say she's been very brave. Our crime correspondent, Matthew Hudson, reports. She doesn't, but she doesn't. <laughs> Still to come, the weather. Are we in for floods? Becky has the latest. That's good news, Sue, for plane, the plane spotters and... Overrun by hamsters, the Russian rodents looking for new homes. A Christmas present, the family tree that's being given to Peterborough. And a lesson from status quo. The rock drummer playing to a new audience. But first, it's been a very wet day across the region, of course, and we have some flood watches in force this evening. Becky's on the roof with all the details. Thanks, Tim. Well, as you mentioned, another very wet day for us here in the Anglia region. Up to an inch of rain for some places. Let's take a look at those records then. Well, they range from 21 millimetres at Marham in Norfolk to 16 millimetres at Bedford and about 14 millimetres at Honington. Of course, 25 millimetres is about an inch. And because of all that rain, there are a number of flood watches on rivers across the Anglia region. If you're worried about potential flooding, you can call the Environment Agency floodline. That number is 0845 988 1188. So looking ahead to tomorrow then, we start dry and bright with some sunny spells across the region. But cloud will move in through the morning. And then we'll have an afternoon of blustery showers, but it will be cool with a high of just 11 Celsius. So no more rain to come tonight, and that's good news because it means the flood watches in currently in force will be cancelled in the next few hours. All details, 6.25, back to you. Thanks, Becky. I think they're la 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 like it. <laughs> <laughs> now there's another big night of cup football at Ipswich tonight. Premiership Middlesbrough are the visitors in the third round of the Worthington Cup, and Stuart Gerald is at Portman Road. And I can tell you it's dry now, but it's been tipping it down all day. They've had 18 millimetres of rain, and at one stage, you would have thought the game would have been caught off, but they're bright here. They've had the pitch covered all day. They've blown hot air underneath the covers to keep the pitch reasonably dry, and they've only taken the covers off in the last few minutes. They're expecting around 13,000 tonight for the visit of Middlesbrough, and they are the boyhood favourites of the man who's the new Ipswich Town captain tonight. And we'll have highlights of tonight's Worthington Cup tie here at Ipswich against Middlesbrough later on Anglia tonight. Midweek soccer special starts at 11.30. Thanks, Stuart. Thank you, Stuart. Now, looking for a pet, how about a hamster? The RSPCA in Northamptonshire could be the place to go for yeah, one. They've got 50 of them, and everyone needs a home, Sarah Yates reports. They breed like rabbits. Yes. I bet rabbits breed like hamsters. I bet they do. Who knows? <laughs> That's, That's it from us tonight. Good night. Bye-bye. <laughs>